You know, we're at a critical point now. The oceans are a mess. And we can do what we've been doing now for over 50 years. Bring in a new technology, thinking it's wonderful, and then finding out later, oh my God, there are consequences we never understood. Just want to remind you, when DDT was found to kill insects, we thought that was a wonderful thing. And we awarded Paul Miller, who discovered that, a Nobel Prize in 1948. Then we discover, oh my God, the eagles are disappearing, and we discover something we didn't even know about called biomagnification. Over and over again, remember CFCs and how we used to use CFCs? Then they found out, my God, it has an effect on the ozone layer. I didn't even know there was an ozone layer up there to affect back then. So we keep thinking we're so clever without acknowledging how ignorant we are. When fish farms, open net pens came into BC Waters, I and people like Jim, Jim Fulton, who was uh, an MP for uh, Skeena, we said, this is crazy. If you're going to farm fish, grow them on land. Yeah. Don't use the oceans as a sewer. Now, 30 years later, we're discovering all kinds of effects that no one anticipated. But when they started the farms, the, the government's position was, well, they're just small farms. We're going to start it out on a small scale and see whether or not it works. And now, they say, oh, well, there are too many people working in the fish farm. We can't shut them down. We'll lose all those jobs. They shouldn't have been there in the first place. Yay! But from a scientific standpoint, this is a crazy technology. And I thank the, uh, the people of Alert Bay for starting the, uh, the uh, uh, closed containment at uh, Antera, uh, Kutera, Kutera up there to begin to show that it can be done. Why is it Norway? If I talked to Dan Nomura, who is the president of Canfisco, goes over to Norway a lot. They're getting their nets, their fish out of the water. They're putting them on land. He said they're building hard containers on land, massive containers. They know you can't keep using the oceans as a shithouse. Right. What kind of a country are we when we have the people who live on those fish for thousands of years telling us, please, please, get these things out of the water because our whole way of life, our culture, is threatened. Why is it we have to end up suing our government, Department of Fisheries and Oceans, to do what they're supposed to do? They're not rooting, they're not supposed to care for the workers in the or the industry they're supposed to protect the oceans right. they've lost sight of that so i congratulate you for being here thank you for showing the leadership this is a crazy technology that cannot be justified on any kind of scientific basis the only reason they say it's necessary is economic and we can't keep using that phony baloney economic argument to destroy the oceans and our, our way of life thank you